Hi, my name is Ben Tommy Eriksen from Norway. Hope you understand my English. I want to show you how to make a blurred background in an easy way and in an advanced way. The easiest way is to get a normal blur, but you have a few problem. If you see here in the picture, we have a soft focus uh, effect and we have an edge around this character. In a more advanced way we can have a normal focus depending on, on the, the distance and the edges is gone away. The way I'm going to do this is to get rid of this channels and a depth map to show you that this later. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to cut out this person and to do that I need to copy in the background layer and I am using all sort of technique to get the job done. I'm not going to do all this uh, because of time. I have uh, when when I'm ready to, with this technique, I can take and add layer mask, and here is the the person cut out. I can draw with a pencil to to make the selection better or worse. I'm going to delete that layer because I already done this in another layer. So, the first thing I can show you is if I do this the easy way. The easy way is to duplicate this layer and uh, make a selection uh, and track it, press Q and on the keyboard here and then dragging a, a gradient to make the upper uh, image selected. I'm taking this away again and I have selected with a, a gradient. When I need to blur, Gaussian blur, this image will show like this. I'm deselecting and you can see here the soft focus effect appears from where I want the blur to start and to the blur is fully happening. And you also see here here's a, a, an edge around this character that I don't want to have. The other way to do this is again duplicating this layer and go into channel, add a new channel and see the background at the same time. I'm again going to make a gradient to explain where the depth of field is. I'm calling this depth map, for example. This is just going to tell me where to blur and where to not blur. I'm going back to RGB, hiding depth map and go into my layers. Now I can uh, go to filter and use blur and something called lens blur. What lens blur is doing is taking my source map and using that as a depth map, depth of map and I can actually tell him where the focus on the image should be. See if I drag the focus to the right, the front is blurred and the background is not blurred, and so on. The problem here is I'm not getting rid of the uh, edge on this character, so I'm actually going to cancel this out and to get rid of the edge I'm using the clone tool 
and taking a little bit away. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm uh, taking uh, cloning a little bit in of the the character. Not much. Just so the blurring effect is not taking this character character out. I'm not going to be very precisely about this because this is just a technique I wanted to learn, not making a perfect image. I not go need to go any further because the blur is going to stop here. So just taking the inside here, and we are almost finished. So now you see. I have taken a little bit of this character everywhere around, not much. When I now go back to filter, blur and lens blur, I use the same depth map and settings, set the radius what I want and click OK. So there I have my my blurring effect, and you can see the difference from the other blur with the easiest way, and now the the lens blur. And when I now take a man and put it on the image, I get my blur. Here is before, and sorry, here is after. And here is with the another effect. Hope you enjoy and please subscribe.